in this video we are going to integrate this we are going to um, we are going to integrate this from 0 to 1 we are going to uh, to find the area from 0 to uh, to 1 so start start out by by looking at this bit here start out by looking at this bit so hang on so start by start out by looking at, at this bit here and then create a right angle triangle in such a way that this will be true so if, if you make if you make your right angle triangle to be let's say three three x here and then two the adjacent to be two then um, then the hypotenuse will have no choice but to be four plus nine x squared so um, so start out by by looking at this bit here uh, you you see you you've got you in a way created this thing here so if, if you start out by making this to be three uh, x and then this to be two then the hypotenuse has no choice but to be this. So now you let um, you let tan tan theta. Well, tan is like this. Tan is like this. It will be three x three x over two over two. Oh, by the way, when when you start out by creating your triangle, uh, you can never remember whether or not you should make this to be three x and this to be a two, or or, or make this to be three x and this to be a two. Um, I will explain why that's the case. Why why it's better to use this later on. Okay, so just bear that in mind. So we've created a triangle. So tan will be tan will be three x over two. So therefore x would uh, would be would be this thing here times two divided by three. That will then take you to here. Now if you um, if you switch these two around, let's say three x and then a two. Um, you, you want to get x on its own. Later on, you want to get x on its own. Um, if, if you were to do this, then then to get x on its own, you've got to use. You can either use. Uh, you can either use cot, or or you can use uh, cosine. But then, if you use if you use cosine, it's really complicated because you've got three x over root um, four nine x squared here. This this is very complicated. You see, if if you make if you make it to be, if you make it to be three uh, x and a two, it's really simple because tan tan theta would, would would simply be this. X is on its own. Well, if you look at this, this is really complicated. Later on, you've got to isolate the x so so that you can get the the dx. You um you could use uh, cotangent, but then we're we're not very good working with cotangent. It's easier it's easier to use um to 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 uh, to have this as 3x and the adjacent to be 2 um the it will still work the other way around but it's it's just so much more work so to try and keep it simple so anyway so that would then that would then take us to here so dx equals this thing here now looking at our diagram we want to be able to um to extract this from the diagram well looking looking at the diagram you can say see uh, this is this is course here Secant is this thing here. So secant theta equals hypotenuse over two over two, and then uh, and then and then now re remember we, we are trying to create this whole thing. We know that we've got this bit here. We, we, we know we've got this bit here. So times both sides by two that will then give us this. Now square both sides that will then give you this, and then square both sides again that will then give you this. Notice now we've got this thing here. We've got this thing here. So we can now put this into here, and the dx we can put this into uh, into the d into the dx. That will then give us this. So these two are just constant. So so we can we can take the whole thing out here. So that will then give us that will then give us that will then give us this. So now it's just a matter of, well. When, when, whenever you see one over uh, secant, then well, that becomes cos squared. Um, and then, and then, whenever you, whenever you try and integrate cos squared or sine squared, you should always visualize this in your mind. You should ingrain this in your mind because it's so important. So, uh, so, si so cos squared, we will put this into into here, and then, uh, and then factor out the uh, the half here. That will then give us this. Remember, x. We we are we are integrating from x equals zero to x equals one. When when we make the substitution, we are now in the d d theta world. 
So, so we need to maintain this. Later on, later on, we will substitute x back into the theta. So, so for the time being, just bear in mind that we are integrating with respect to theta, but we really want to integrate. Uh, we want we want to do it from x equals zero to x equals one. So the, these two are are not compact compatible at the moment. But we will later on change theta back into x. So so keep this as x equals zero and x equals one. So we are currently here. So now integrate this. This should be easy to integrate now. Integrate one. That will then give us theta. Integrate this. That will then give us this. So now we uh, we want. Well, we've got a double angle here. Hang on. We've got a, a double angle here. So whenever you have a double angle, think. Well, we've seen this before. If you make um, if you make this to be a, and then make this to be a, and then make this to be a. So here you've got like sine two a, which is like a double angle similar to this. So if, if that's the case, then this thing here will be uh, will be sine a. Uh, cos a, but then you've got two lots of exactly the same thing. This would be exactly the same as this. That would then give you this. So now, uh, now, now you can put this block into into this block here. The two twos will cancel each other out, giving you giving you just this thing here. So now, now you've got a nice single block of sine, a nice single block of cos, rather than a combination of two angles here. So that will then take us to here. So now, once you're at this stage, we can translate it back into x now. So hang on. So um, so now that you're here, um, go back to the beginning of time. Right from the start, we, we we created this triangle here. But we need to translate theta. Well, if you if you look at this tan, we said let tan theta equals this thing here. So theta must equal. Looking at this, theta must equal um, arc tan of this thing here. Now if you look at this block, sine sine theta, sine is like this, this is sine here, so that would be 3x over the hypotenuse, over the hypotenuse, which is this thing here. And then if you look at cos, cos is this thing here, so that would be 2 over the hypotenuse, that would be 2 over the hypotenuse. So now tidy this thing up, this times this would give you 6x, and exactly the same times exactly the same. That will then give you this. So now put this into here. Put this into here. That will then give you this. And then put the zero into here. Put the zero into here. That will then give you this. Tidy this whole thing up. Tidy this whole thing up. And your final answer will be this. Okay.